Good morning. It is a beautiful morning out here. Hi there, doggin. Hi there, other doggin. You gonna come say hi? Okay. Hi, guys. Oh, you're so cuties. Yeah. So it's nice and overcast, which gives great lighting. It's like a big photo studio. Uh, but I gotta do something that's dangerous. And I hate doing this stuff because I keep taking risks. And the more you take risks, even though it works out most of the time, eventually it won't. And so I'm driving into town in a vehicle that the transmission is going out. It speeds up and slows down suddenly. I looked it up and that's supposedly dangerous. I don't know anything about cars. But it's, you know, it should be fixed. Problem is, nobody fixes those around here. Uh, and I don't have the money to pay for it. And some other problems, but those are the two main ones. Uh, a friend offered he would take me into town. And I've actually got heavy shit I need. Like, in order to get online and upload this video, I have to use gasoline because my solar power is out. And that's probably not going to change anytime soon because I don't have any money to fix it. I need to do something big and drastic. I need to get dog food as well and some dog medicine because my dogs have fleas and parasites. So, I, need, I mean, I could walk in for that. So it's the heavy stuff that's making me go into town. And a friend of mine said that he would, he would take me into town probably. But I feel really bad asking because he kind of knows that I'm stuck. And that puts him in a bad position of if I ask, if he says no, he might think I think he's a dickhead. No, he should let me suffer. I put myself in this situation, so screw it. It's not his responsibility. And uh, he's a really nice guy. And he has let himself be used by people before, as I have. So I know that that occurs with him and me and everything. And so I just, I can't do it. I... Uh, I can't really ask for favors, and if I pay somebody, then I'll have less money to buy the stuff I need. Like, I don't, I mean, I'd love to buy more stuff. I need to buy some food for me as well. Uh, so it's dangerous, and I don't like that. Now, what I have to do is make a big crowdfunding thingy and uh, send it to people who are on my invite list for here, which is not very many people. There's a lot of people I don't know if they're on my invite list, and I need to kind of make a social contract with them to decide that uh, so that they know where they're going. I don't want to just host people again. I used to host a lot of people. I want to do that again. It was a mistake the way I did it, and it was my choice at the time, but, you know, if you let people take, they will, and that's one of the reasons that I want to take from this guy. He's offering it. And I'm putting myself in danger to go to town, perhaps other people. I mean, it's a very short distance to go. It's only five kilometers. But, it, you know, the, I've got a difficult road to get out of, which I don't even know if I'll be able to get out. I mean, I've gotten stuck before. So I didn't even know I'm going to town today. I have to get up a road over here. Oh, I can take a different road. There's a different road that has different problems, but not the kind that get me stuck. I'll take that road. Suffering fuck a dash. Yeah, well, I got my list. Let me check my list here real quick. Phone card. Oh yeah, I shouldn't be walking around without a phone that has signal. I don't have signal, but I, at least I need uh, money on it so that I can make a phone call. That's another thing. It's not safe to be here without a phone, really. Uh, some bread, peanut butter in a big jar. Because that's a really healthy thing to eat, in my opinion. Dog food. Wait a minute. Gasoline's not even on my list. That's like one of the reasons I'm going. That's the... I mean, if I can't communicate anymore, then I'm screwed. And actually, the phone doesn't even matter. Uh, but if I don't have gasoline and I can't charge anything, the phone doesn't matter. Like, right here, I don't get signal anyway. I have to walk up on this place over there to get signal. So, anyway, I'm just avoiding this. If the sun would come out, then it would dry the roads out more and I wouldn't get stuck. That's a good thought. If I really can't get out, then I guess I would... I mean, I'm just trying... The problem is the amount of time I'm, I have stuff for that I'm prepared to handle keeps reducing. 
I used to, you know, buy stuff for like a year's worth of dried goods. That was awesome. I mean, you know, or six months or a year, whatever. I still got some of it I never ate because I don't like to eat soy, textured soy products. I just don't like them. They seem like a really fake, weird food. And apparently they're high in estrogen or something. So they turn me into a woman, which wouldn't be bad. I'd have a better life. Wouldn't do the dumb shit that I do. <laughs> Maybe. And I'd probably still be a whack job. But, uh... Yeah, but I, you know, normally I would buy like 10 bags of dog food and that's that hand that takes care of me for, you know, a while. And I, ultimately I would like to get like, you know, 30 bags of dog food at once and have it delivered. Everything here should get delivered anyway. That should be just part of the deal. But, you know, I'm just barely scraping up enough money to get by for another week. And, uh, it's very difficult. It's good. I, well, I used to say it was good for me because I was learning how to live cheap. Now I, there's no more things I can cut out. I mean, I can't not feed the dogs. I can't not be online. I don't have enough money to fix my solar power. So I'm in this situation where I'm buying things or paying for things or taking risks. The risks really get to me. I mean, they just, as you keep taking them, you just know you're going to, something's going to be fucked up and you won't be able to handle it. And living here without money to fix problems is terrible. I mean, that's how I got screwed over five years ago is I didn't have money to fix my problems. And that's a very dangerous position. I mean, I could have an appendix go bad right now and then what happens? So what I really need to do is make a, a better videos, which I started with a couple better ones uh, to talk about what I'm doing here, why it's important uh, and what I need to continue doing it and how I, how I envision it can work with people. I need to work with other people. And that's scary as hell because... People are, in, you know, may have noticed that they're annoying and uh, deceitful and selfish. And, uh, and then, you know, I'm a mess in some different ways I'm working on. But uh, maybe I could do that. And maybe I could then hire some people to come and clean the place up. Uh, I, need, I have cabins and stuff that are dirty. And then be able to invite a team of people who they're not paying and I'm not paying them. You know, they already have enough resources that that's not their biggest issue. And if we're living pretty cheap here and they, they're looking for an experience, they would actually be looking for an educational experience, but they have to be focused and actually working. I can't just have people here faking like they're helping. And that's some of, unfortunately, that's a lot of what I experienced with volunteers. I've had awesome volunteers. It's been great. And then I've had a lot of people who, uh, they're just trying to travel for free. And that has been one of the loss of faith that I have had. Loss of faith is faith in people. And these rich young travelers traveling the world for years, I've never been able to do that. I've been able to go to the woods for years, but I live cheap. <laughs> I don't fly around or anything. Uh, and so I need to change what I do next time with people. And, and screen them way better. And I, and I know how to do that now. I have a, a idea and I started working on it of how to screen people really, really well. Uh, if you're interested in that, well, there's a form you can fill out somewhere. Uh, you can find it if, if you don't know where it is. Um, but I have a lot of weird roles I wanna, I wanna uh, fill. And they're not just gardening. I mean, I can hire basic, I can hire garden leadership out and then people could work in the gardens for basic stuff, but that's not the actual primary objective here. And I think in the past it's been confusing what my objectives are, but food here is pretty cheap. That's not my biggest expense. I do want to make a food forest that is full of stuff, and I've grown a lot of food at times, but sometimes I just ended up giving it away. I mean, I've grown so much food, I just give it away. Because, I mean, things are seasonal, right? And I don't have a root cellar. And there's just this, this huge system of parts that all have to fit together and I don't have enough parts to actually fit together and the parts I have are all broken and old like my solar power I mean up here is all my solar panels that's it 340 watts less than what some little RVs and RV vans have some people actually visited they had more power than I did and theirs actually worked it's up there that's my panels and then my batteries over there I, I can't use because they're two of them are leaking one of them swole up it was going to explode it looked like it was also heating way up like it would burn your fingers if you touched it so i just shut it off because i'm not gonna just wait till it catches on fire there's no point 
And uh, so what I need to do is replace the batteries. Uh, and then solar panels have become so cheap that I would rather look at my inverter, it's 1500 watt inverter, and so it can handle 1500 watts. So I'd, what I'd rather do is get batteries that can handle 1500 watts and get panels that can do that. And I don't know what that costs because I don't know what kind of batteries and what I can get. And so I actually need someone to advise me, someone who can, who can actually get them, not from AutoZone like I did before, because I think that's why the batteries are bad. Uh, but, you know, and then there, there's a store in the city now that sells solar stuff. I have no way to get there. I definitely cannot take this vehicle out there. It's dangerous enough to go five kilometers. And there's other dangers that I can't drive. There's no way I can drive, like on the actual open road like that. Anyway, goodbye. I'm going to go away. Maybe I should take the old road today. Nah. Screw it. Maybe I'll drop into my friend and say hi to him and see if he wants to go to town. But I'm really happy I'm not using, a, using him as a favor. Um, I know it's, it's difficult when somebody offers, like, I mean, I should accept help. But in his case, he's my neighbor, kind of. I mean, he lives a couple kilometers away. And I guess I don't really want to make sure I don't abuse that relationship in any way. Because uh, it's a danger, especially since I'm in this weak position and he's a really nice, helpful guy, but that's not the way things should be. You know, I, I just, that's wrong. It's wrong of me to do that. And so I have to say no to that help. It's, I need your help. I need donations is what I need. If you're willing to be a donor, uh, well, soon I'll have crowdfunding projects up. I think that's a really good way to go for me. And now I'm getting more specific and drilling down. And I started making videos on what ex exactly people would fund so that then they can track the progress and be excited that they actually accomplish something real that actually does serve other people, not just me. But the design of some things would be the product. And that, that design would, of course, be given away with all the videos and any information I have. And then people can experiment, make their better versions of it, or similar, whatever. And then everybody wins, right? That's how we all win. We share information for free. Everybody else is setting up courses and shit to sell everything. And they're selling stuff that should be like, I mean, some of it they claim is world changing, just, you know, liberty and great freedom and, and better in all these ways. And it's like, yeah, well, then give that shit away, you know, if you have anything of value. And most of them don't have anything of value. Like, I know of one woman who's, who's selling her courses on community development. Her idea of community failed. She wanted to come here for free a long time ago. I don't think she remembers that because I was on her podcast or her webcam chat, whatever. And I don't think she remembered that. But, you know, it's like she's just one of the other moochers that has, I get many of who've wanted to come here in the past. I don't get them as much anymore because I'm not publishing that kind of stuff. And I took all my links down for, for coming here. But, uh, I mean, I thought about asking her in that chat, like, how do you handle moochers that want to come to your place for free? You know? Because she's, she's selling this information about how to create communities, but she's never done it. And it just seems like the, it's a world full of scammers, you know? So, boy, what a whiner. Jesus Christ. Oh, well. I guess I'm going to try and go to town. I've got my dog locked up, my little dog, so she won't follow me. She'll actually follow me five kilometers into town. She did that once. I don't know how she did that. I think she just went into town and then she must have had to look for me. I don't know what happened, but oh well, I'm her daddy, but she cannot go to town today. Goodbye.